Okay then, so let's look at how we can remove an item. So inside of our shopping list service, I'm gonna make a new function and that's going to be called remove item. It's going to take an item of type item and it will return this dot shopping list reference dot remove. And what this actually requires is the key for the item. So let's add the item dot key. We know that when we select an item, it does have a key element because we use the snapshot changes. So we're gonna pass the item into this remove item function, which is then going to remove the item from the database. So let's build up our UI first. We can head over to the edit shopping item.html and on top or below, it's up to you, I'm going to add a delete button. This is going to have the color of danger because it's going to be a red button and the click event is instead going to be remove item. And once again, we're going to pass through that item into that function. So if we head over to our edit shopping item.ts, we can make a remove item, which takes an item. And as you may expect, it's quite simple from here on out. We just have this.shopping.remove item, pass through the item. And then once this has been removed, we can simply just say this.toast.show and we can say the item dot name deleted and perhaps navigate the user back to the home page. So let's try out our project then. Let's take the MacBook Pro and hit delete. And then you can see at the bottom here we have this MacBook Pro has been deleted. So we can go through and we can remove the iPhone 10 Plus. We can maybe go through, add a new item. Perhaps we want the iPhone 10 Plus back. So there we have a very basic shopping list. There's lots of things you could do to this application to make it even better, but this application is just looking at the Angular Fire database and of course Ionic. So I think we've achieved that. We've made a little service here over at our shopping list service.ts that allows us to get a list of shopping items. It allows us to add shopping items to that list. It allows us to update the item based on the item's key. Remove the item here by removing it based on the key. And I think we've also looked at things like observables and lazy loading our pages. I think we've achieved quite a lot in a short space of time. So I do hope that you found this series useful. If you have, then get in touch because I'd love to know what you're making and the applications you've already made.